Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're fe featuring a Young Hands model. This is a Max Build 38, and I think it's just a lovely, honest looking watch. This brand has had such a rich history, which not many people really kind of know about. Yeah, you know, we're talking, they've been going for well over 100 years. They've, in the around about 1900s early part, they were making three, mil three million timepieces, employed over 3,000 people. Um, they really are. I just think they've, they've got such a good history. They used to be based, I think they were based in the Black Forest. Um, they were even the first brand to actually make radio-controlled watches. So we get we see that quite often now with the likes of G-Shock and all that. But these were the guys who did it first, and I think that's kind of cool. But anyway, before we get into a review, let's say a massive thank you to Ryan and the team over at Francis & Gay for allowing me to review this watch. Tons of stock, really worth popping in. If you're a bit too far afield, uh, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. So anyway, this model here, the Max Build 38, as the name would suggest, it is a 38 millimeter watch. Um, it's quite funny because all companies normally um, list their thickness of watch and they always go slightly under. This one, they've gone over. They've said it's 10 mil, but I'm measuring 9.7 mil. So that's a first. The look to look is lovely at 40 mil. It's such a nice watch to wear. Um, the leather strap on this is a 20 millimeter leather strap. Now, for dial, it's got that classic look from them, that Max Build um, design ethos, which this brand is really known for. It's just simple, sharp, legible, it just looks, it really does look great. I know it's not going to be to everyone's taste. Everyone likes big blocky writing and, you know, bezels and more and more gadgets. But this is just an honest, lovely looking watch. I think anyway, let's say. Um, we have the pencil hands. There is actually loom on these as two of these pips on the uh, quarter hour markers. And to be, excuse me, to be fair, it's actually surprisingly good. I was quite surprised how much glow this actually uh, actually get, uh, gives. To be fair, it doesn't last a um, you know a really long time because there simply isn't enough of it there to you know to actually do do that. But it does glow nonetheless. Um, other things we have we have the minute markers and the hour markers. They are printed on the dial there, and it looks like I'm not sure if the dial does dip down at the end. It could be an optical effect due to this um, gorgeous sapphire crystal, but I'm not sure. Even the way the dial has been cut out there with that little uh, the dial, the date window at three o'clock there has been cut out. It's just done so well. And there is almost zero gap between the dial and the date window. It's always a sign of quality, I think. When you see a big gap, um, it's just never the same as when it's nice and kind of very almost flush with the bottom of the dial there. Now, the font is kind of even an interesting font. Look at the four. It just looks cool, I think. It really is a lovely watch. Um, the second hand as well, it looks like it dips down, rem very reminis reminiscent of the older watches which used to do that. So overall, I think the dial is just lovely, clean and tidy. The bezel, as I've said, check it out. It is absolute, it almost looks equal to the thickness of the actual case and body, this um, nice sapphire crystal there. I think it looks stunning. It really is nice. Um, maybe not, you know, okay, you are possibly, if you're going to knock this watch, it will always be on the crystal, but it's one of those things. I think it just enlarges the watch. It makes, even though this is a 38 millimeter watch, it looks bigger because there's simply zero bezel. On most watches, you read a larger bezel or case of the watch. On this one, you're only reading sort of like a millimeter all the way around a watch, and that is unusual. So anyway, as I say, the crystal, really nice AR coating, I believe, on there. And the actual case of the watch, as we can see, it's got this heavily kind of sculpted down. It really does taper towards the back of the uh, watch there. And even the lugs are kind of nicely. It's, it kind of, it looks like they've almost been soldered into position on there. So it dips down. This sits so flat on the wrist. It is really kind of comfortable. The crown itself, small, unsigned. I don't think it is. 
and it hasn't got, I say, there's no screw down crown on this because the watch only has 30 meters of water resistant because let's face it, this is more a dress watch, a casual everyday dress watch, I'd say. You don't need a screw down crown or crown guards because that would simply detract from the sheer loveliness of that dial. So as we come round here, the back, let's give that, the back of the watch, we just have the uh, Max build on there, lovely polished case on the back, it's, yeah, what can you say? Unfortunately, you can't see the movement, but that would also add height because you'd have to allow for the thickness of a glass on the back there. It's just screwed in position with these four screws. It does, I'd say, the movement in the back of this, they call it the Calibre J800-1. Now, what that really equates to is a ETA2824. So you're talking 25 joules, minimal of 38 hours of power supply, and overall a real solid workhorse. I did put this on the time grapher, and I believe it was pulling about five seconds or a fraction over plus five a day. That might settle down with where I'm not sure, but overall super, just a solid movement. The leather strap on this, very plush on the inside, feels very, very soft. Signed, um, Feels like it's very compliable, no problem at all. We do have a signed band on the top there. Two keepers, one fixed, one floating. Let me put this on my wrist so you've got an idea how it looks. A quick wrist check. I'm wearing the Yemi Superman 500, 39 mil, because I simply love this watch. Um, I got these two watches sent in for review from Yemi and I don't normally wear watches quite so much as this but I've been wearing this no end and I'm really really enjoying that watch. Um, Bob, he's gone for the 42mm version because he's Bob, there you go. And again, lovely, but my soft spot is the 39, I think it looks great. Anyway, let's take this off. My wrist size is seven and a quarter inches, so you got an idea. Let's put this on and see how it looks. Let's have a look. Those two straps there are just come in um, about 10 minutes ago. They're from Artemis Straps. They've got some new hybrid straps going on there and they look really nice. So I'm going to have to review them. And that's it on my wrist. So anyway, you can see, look at it. It sinks down onto the wrist. It virtually disappears. Um, really just sit nice and flat. And I think, it, I just I really quite like this. I just think it's a lovely, honest, simple watch. Um... Sometimes you don't want all the bells and whistles. You just want pure, you know, class and style. And this has it by the bucket load, I think, anyway. Anyway, there you go, chaps. I uh, hope you like the quick review of the watch. And um, most importantly, stay safe out there. I'll see you at the next review. Take care. Bye.